Then what we had is the FBI telling social media, you can expect that there's going to be Russian disinformation in the form of a Hunter Biden laptop. And that's when they interfered with the presidential election for the second time. And 51 CIA intelligence agents. So we've got the DOJ, the FBI, the CIA say, oh, this is Russian disinformation, when we know damn well it wasn't Russian disinformation. And now what you've got is a loser prosecutor, Jack Smith, who's been slapped down by the United States Supreme Court in his in one of his prosecutions that if I were a lawyer, I would give up my law license. I'd be so embarrassed hiding under a rock. He's the one who prosecuted John Edwards. He's got a political agenda. And this is all over a Presidential Records Act, which is a civil, civil suit, a civil issue. And so what they do is they put out this narrative indictment. Oh, this is a story of wrongdoing, national defense. And let's put in espionage. We can kind to tie it into the Russian collusion so people will say, oh, it could have been the Russians. This is nonsense. And I want to know how many documents were altered? How many documents were destroyed? Zero. Zero. But who destroyed 33,000 documents that she lied about over and over again? Hillary Clinton. She destroyed them. That was tampering with evidence. That was obstruction of justice. And did the DOJ, the FBI care? They didn't give a damn. But now they care. What are they so afraid of? Let him run for office, and if he loses, then that's the end of it. I hate a country that is akin to a third world country. This is a banana republic. When you indict one guy running for president, and the guy who's doing it is some old geezer who says, you know what, I don't know anything about it. The day, by the way, the day that we finally get under threat of contempt of the head of the FBI, we finally get a 1023 from a credible FBI source, credible, $200,000 worth of credibility the FBI paid him, saying Joe took $5 million, Hunter took $5 million from Ukraine. And I'm not done yet. I'll tell you something else.